Welcome to Source BMX. I'm Van Homan here on the Hastings Seafront with one of the most stylish street riders in the game, Devin Smiley. Devin What's recently up? joined the Colt team. So congratulations on the new ride, Devin. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I'm yeah. excited. So all right, now we're going to take a look at his Heaven's Gate build. So right now, Devin is riding Brandon Began's signature frame, the Heaven's Gate. So let's talk about that. What's the geometry on this thing? Why did you choose this frame? So I went with Began's frame because it's pretty similar to what I'm familiar with with geometry. It's a 12-8 rear end, 9 standover, 11-7 bottom bracket, and then like 75-3 head tube. So it's almost identical to what I was running for the last few years. So the adjustment was super easy, you know? Okay, awesome. So what is the goal of this geometry that you have? Like what? What kind of feel do you like on your frame? Uh, the short wheelbase really gives you that nice, like, techie, snappy feel. And, you know, like, I stay close to the ground. I do a lot of techie stuff. So there's something about it where it has that kind of tech balance, but there's a good kind of mixture. Like, I'm so used to it at this point that I feel comfortable riding anything with it. So I think it's a good all-around bike. So before you built up this bike, the airline lost your luggage. You had a sample frame. Is this some top secret stuff? Are we talking about a Devin uh, Smiley signature? What's going on? I mean, it's something in the works, you know? We were talking about a signature frame from the get-go, so it's definitely something we've been working on. And uh, it was a little bit different geometry. Uh, pretty similar, a little bit longer rear end and taller standover, and then a five-inch head tube. I think it's the first frame they did with the five-inch head tube. Also, the first frame they did with integrated chain tensioners, so that's something okay. I like as well. So yeah, I built it up last Wednesday and was like loving it so much, so excited to have it. And then had a straight flight from LA and this nine hour direct flight and showed up to the airport three hours before and Robbie and Eddie's bike made it and mine didn't, <laughs> so. All right, so we're just gonna have to wait and see when the Devin Smiley signature comes out, what it's about and no guesses on when it might be released. Mm, no, I know I got another sample coming soon. We got a, a different color coming, so okay. I should have my hands on that in like a few weeks. So right. depending on, I, I think it's just figuring out graphics and what we want to call it at this point. I think the geometry is like nailed on it, so. Awesome, all right. I think the people are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So. <laughs> Devin, you have the Colt Sect Fork available in 28 and 18 millimeter offsets. You're riding the steeper option, the 18 mm -hmm. millimeter. Why do you choose this offset, and what else should we know about the Sect Fork? Uh, I feel like with the forks, like the steeper it is, then the easier it is for nose manuals and stuff. But not only that, it also makes things like bar spins a little more responsive. Because if you think about like having a larger offset, even even with your your stem too, it's gonna like kind of throw the rotation around. So like the tighter you can keep everything, like the snappier and more consistent it's gonna feel. So it's just per personal preference, keeps the wheelbase tighter and just steering, steering a little snappier too. So makes like hop threes, hop fives, things like that a little bit easier. Cast. We got investment cast on these too. What so is you know, investment cast? I, actually, I do know. I'm pretty sure so it's a mold for the dropout itself. This is all one piece. Uh -huh. And then they actually weld it to the bottom. So instead of having like those weak points where a typical weld would be, this is all one piece. You have to, you don't have to worry about your dropouts yeah. breaking off like used to, like it was very common back in the day. Right. So they actually weld the two tubes together so it's a solid piece all together right there. And it's a lot stronger. I don't know if it's lighter, but it's better. It looks smoother. All right, Devin, you're riding the Colt Crew Bar. The Colt Crew Bar is available in nine, 9.35 and 9.65. It's kind of an all-around classic two-piece bar. Um, what size are you running, and what do you like about the uh, geometry on these? So they, I'm running the 935s on these, cut down to 27 and a half. Uh, geometry is 12 too. It's pretty like generic for standard bars nowadays, and it, you know, I got used to it over the years, and I like how they feel. I love them. They feel great. Um, the only thing with these is that I was running on my sample a nine inch because the head tube being taller, mm. I had to kind of like compensate for oh, that. Okay. So I think the head tube on the other frame is like a five compared to this being a four and a half. So I went with the 935. So it's kind of, you know, trying yeah. to balance it out a little bit, but it's, honestly, I've been riding it for a couple hours already and it feels like 
just like home already. It's chilling. With stems, I've like kind of experimented a lot. Like when I first got on, I was writing Dakota's bars and stem combo. His stem was a 51. And like I was saying with the forks, like with the responsiveness of the, the steeper fork, I kind of have always wanted to lean towards a shorter, uh, what is it called, reach. So this one's actually, it's pretty short. It's a 46 reach, which is like a normal, but um, it really keeps everything tight in the front end. So like I was saying with bars and everything, it's, you know, it keeps everything snappy and quick. Yeah. I love it so far, it feels great. All right, you've got a pretty legendary drive chain happening here. <laughs> you've got the Chase Hawk cranks with the Dakota Roche guard sprocket yeah, right. right down this setup. We're running the DAC pedals. I really like them so far. I've always been a fan of plastic pedals, but just like the, the wide platform they have and then like a slight concave to it, the amount of pins it has, I feel like it's perfect shape for a pedal and they're perfect. So they're so perfect, just perfect. <laughs> um, and then those are sitting on Hawk cranks. It's sick to be running like all the boy signature stuff, yeah. like Deacon's frame, Hawk's cranks, DAC pedals, you know? So the cranks are 165, 22 mil spindle. Uh, you know, solid. I really like the three-piece design too, because I feel like a three-piece over like a two or two and a half, like everything's a lot more balanced. So the distribution is going to be more even. So you're not like putting more pressure and likely to break something on another side. So uh, the design of that's all perfect. And then uh, this is all on the the DAC 25 guard sprocket. So I mean. Just aluminum, I, I believe it's aluminum. Yeah, I love um, the clean, like one piece design. Like, yeah, no extra bolts I really, or... I love that too. Like, I prefer it over like a plastic guard because I've, I've ran plastic guards before and the bolts just like fall out and then you end up cracking it and stuff. So it's like, you know, I bash one of these things all over and it's never have any issues with it and save so many chains from it. I'm not even like grinding on it really. I just like it so I don't have to worry about <laughs> breaking my chain really. Yeah. It's interesting, you know, because with guard sprockets, it's hard to make something that looks sleek on such a bulky product. Right. And I feel like they nailed it. It's like, sure. you know, it's got a good design, looks sleek, slim, but still has that sturdiness to it. Yeah. You're running the Colt all over print padded seat. The seat comes in a few different sizes. Um, which size are you running? How important is your seat shape and seat post height? Um, well, this one, I, I was running the padded before. This one is actually the mid. Oh, okay. And like, I, dude, I've probably taken like four seats from them in the past month because I just like, I don't know, it's like changing sh shoes or something. It's like, <laughs> I just like trying different looks and feels. Like, I tried a couple of the slim ones. I was running like the, the Kevlar swim, slim one, but in my head, I was just kind of tripping out a lot because I pinch for bars. Uh -huh. Like, I love the look of a slim seat, but I rely on the paddedness for pinching. So when I seen that they had this one in a mid, I was like, that's, you know, yeah. it's like a win-win. It's got that, you know, a little bit slimmer look. And if I like miss my feet on a whip, then I'm not going to be like wishing I had the padding, you know? Yeah. So it's, I don't know. I'm just happy with it. I love the shape of it and everything. And What so. about the height? It looks like a comfortable, like a comfortable height. I, I think we could go higher, honestly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll All see. Right. <laughs> All right. You've got the call crew. <laughs> Free coaster wheel set. These things come like this, straight out of the box, ready to go, just like the pros are riding. Um, why do you choose a free coaster and break down this wheel set for us? Um, well, first off, I just like the free coaster because I feel like it opens up a lot of doors. Don't get me wrong, cassette's fun. I love cassette. I still mess on one every now and then, but there's just something about being able to go as fast as you can backwards as you can forwards, and I feel like that with four pegs, it just so so many things that are still yet to be done with it i think but so we got the v2 i think it's v2 hub as well just both with plastic guards these are some of the best plastic guards i've ridden on any hubs honestly because when you it, when they get like the the compound right for it then it's perfect they're not like too soft they're not too hard to where they're brittle and breaking so they nailed it on that and then both of them are laced up to the match I, think, I don't know if they're B1, B2, what they are, but the mash rim. So it's pretty easy. I've never, you know, it's been a while since I've been able to just like pick up a full wheel set from a company and yeah. throw it on a bike. No, like it's you like, say, it's rad. They just are ready to go. Yeah, straight out of boxes. exactly. And you know, they're they're solid. Let's wrap this thing up. Jason Watts is itching to get at this quarter pipe. <laughs> so let's talk about the pegs. Let's talk about the tires. All right. So pegs. These are the butter lights. 
Um, the difference between these and the regular butter is the butter, regular butter has like the steel insert and the lights are aluminum insert. So I, I feel like, I don't know if it is or not, but I feel like they're a little bit thicker diameter, which I like. It keeps them hanging over the dropout so you're not grabbing dropout. Um, and then also a little bit lighter as well. So, I mean, with four pegs and coaster, it's like easy for a bike to get overweight. Right. And then the tires are the fast and loose Corey Wash folding ones. Mm. And uh, for a folding tire, they're solid. And, you know, on the bike that I lost, yeah. <laughs> I've been running them ever since I got on and they're perfect. I haven't had a single issue with them. So yeah. they look good. And, like, you know, I can still run low air pressure with them, but they have a good rolling resistance. So. Yeah, lightweight and perfect for all around riding. Right? Exactly, yeah, perfect. All right, Devin, thanks for sharing your Colt Heaven's Gate build with the people out there today. Everybody at home, make sure to check out the Bike Builder. There you can find pricing, spec, and availability on everything Devin's riding, sourcebmx.com.